Well, folks, it was a really sad day. So today we had a decent amount of sunshine. We decided to pull our Mustang out, get it ready, you know, kind of spring weather's coming. And on top of that, my truck was going in for some uh, body work. If you remember, I hit a bear. So we were trying to have things scheduled so the truck would be gone and we'll just drive the Mustang for the time being. Well, that was short lived because the day we pulled the Mustang out, we discovered we had a pack rat nest living underneath our dash. So yeah, that was not fun. But uh, regardless, we have insurance that covers that, thank goodness. So the Mustang is actually getting a complete strip down, tear down, sanitization and clean as we speak. So, but in the meantime, it gave me some time to print some parts. So we actually printed this uh, battery hold down because uh, apparently my car was missing one. So yeah, I looked online, I could find them. They were like between 20 and 30 bucks US. And I was like, you know what? I'm not paying that. So I printed this guy. It took about eight hours to print and used, I think it was 36 grams of material. So realistically, probably cost me $2 to make. Oh, what are you doing getting in the way there? Trouble? What are you doing? Evers? Hey, Eve, look right here. Evie? No, <laughs> he's not. I don't know what that was about. He just heard me talking and got excited, I guess. I don't know. But uh, yeah, once we um, get word, we can head down and uh, pick up the Mustang. We'll pick this video back up. All right, so we got our car back from the detail shop and I don't know what's going on, but it is running like a complete bag of crap. So I'm gonna throw a distributor cap at it, cap and rotor, some plugs. Where are we here? Let me flip. We got some NGK wires and some NGK plugs. So yeah, I'm gonna throw this stuff at it and see if it clears it up because it was barely drivable from the detail shop. So let me get to it. So that was a little interesting. So I said it was running just like a complete bag of crap. Well. I think I discovered what it was. I don't know if maybe when they were cleaning something in there or what, but my uh, my number five and my number seven plug wires were not even on the plug. They were just sitting there, like kind of weird. I don't know. So that would explain why it was running like a bag of crap. I mean, also the distributor cap has seen better days. I think this might be the original cap from the car, to be honest. And I could not get the rotor off. It was so stuck, but uh, yeah, we got it. So I'm just gonna keep plugging and chugging and slapping these guys in there and we'll be good. But yeah, my plugs actually look pretty decent too. So I don't know, we'll see. All right, so my mission was successful. We have a car that idles and has perfectly smooth drivability. So now all I've got to do is put the rest of these guys on, straighten out the wires, and I gotta get a longer uh, coil wire. I don't like how short that one is. So that's a little bit weird. Um, yeah, aside from that, we're good to go. What I may do actually is notch this out. Yeah, I don't know, I'll figure something out. But um, yeah, let's, um, let's take this thing for a cruise. We'll use this to go pick up my youngster from school. So. Apparently I'm a complete noob at this. <laughs> I was sitting here talking to the camera, filming away. Forgot to push bloody record, but uh, I decided to do an oil change on the Because, well, who knows when the last time uh, this oil was changed. I mean, for all I know, it's the last time it's been changed was 2014. So better to play it safe and dump some fresh oil in there. So let me get back to it here. Oh yeah, really glad I decided to do that. <laughs> it's pretty awful. <laughs> so yeah, we are done. 
we are filled we are topped up warmed up and ready to go i'm just going to get that oil put into the old container and drop it off at our oil recycling so yeah all right so oil change is complete as you see in there the oil was absolutely disgusting so i'm really glad i did that I went inside and got changed because I didn't want to sit in the car with my dirty clothes on and I threw a bag of trash into our dumpster and then I couldn't find my car keys so I kind of went into a little bit of a panic mode thinking oh my goodness did I throw my car keys in the dumpster that you can't just get into it's got a lock on it so I'm like oh my goodness I'm kind of freaking out looking through my truck looking through my toolbox and my house I couldn't find them anywhere and then it dawned on me I know exactly where they are let me show you this <laughs> yeah <laughs> i left them in the ignition <laughs> i mean it was only for a couple of minutes <laughs> it's only for like 10 minutes max that's all it took me to to get changed but yeah um well that being said we're gonna end this off here so that was a pretty successful uh first shakedown run of the car we got our plugs wires distributor cap and rotor and an oil change done so that's good. Uh, we have some subframe connectors, some BBK headers, uh, cold air intake. I'm on the fence what way I want to go with that right now. So I'm going to hold off on that. But um, first and foremost, we got to do brakes. I'm going to get those parts on order. And when we get them, we'll smash out another video. So if you like what you're seeing here, please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one.